I was recently looking for an extension for Microsoft Edge that would give me a clean new tab because currently if you open a new tab, for example, I press Control T, it starts loading stuff and I don't want any of that. So if I search for blank tabs in the gallery, the first two results don't have many reviews. I decided to look around and see if I could create my own extension. First of all, in a blank folder, create a file called new text file and I call it simply manifest.json it has to be a json extension agree to change the extension now I open it and I type the boilerplate for the manifest it starts off with a manifest version version of 2 now don't ask me why but the Chrome and Edge needs a version 2 I create a name for my extension I'll just call it blank tab and a description which is shows a blank tab Next, I need a version number. I'll just say 1.1.0 or 1.0. Uh, extension needs an icon. I forgot the quotes icons because it's going to be. It's supposedly a list, but I'm just going to create one icon, which is a size 16. Uh, I'll name it here, but I haven't created the icon yet. Close icons. And the main one here is Chrome URL overrides. This is where I override the default page of the browser. And I'm just going to, it's called new tab. And I'm going to get a URL, which I'm just going to say it's going to be called newtab.html, which I haven't created either. Close that, close outside, and save. And of course, the first thing I do, I'm going to create that HTML called newtab.html, which you saw previously. Tab, whoops, newtab.html agree to change the file extension I'm gonna open that with notepad and I'm just gonna write the quick boilerplate for all HTML documents they all start with a doc type of HTML it's gonna be a quick HTML make a quick head um, I'm gonna start with the start defining the character set because otherwise you'll get a little bunch of errors UTF-8, like always. Um, I'm gonna see, put a, what am I gonna put in here? A title, I'm gonna give it a title because that's gonna go in a new tab. And I'm just gonna put something, just a, a minus sign. I, ideally, I want it to be blank, but I think the browser doesn't allow that title. And close the head, close the HTML. I don't really need a body because it's gonna be a, purely blank web page save next thing I'm gonna do is to create an icon because all things look good with an icon I've already opened up Windows paint because that's all I have on my computer uh, and it, I'm gonna create a 16 by 16 icon properties with the 16 height is 16 okay and first I'm going to zoom in because it's going to be quite hard to draw. Um, a new blank page icon is just going to be a, uh, a sheet of paper. I'm going to draw a line first, black. Say around here. Whoops, too heavy. Undo. This is too thick. I need I want it to be one pixel wide. Let's say around here. It's around two pixels in. 
I'm gonna leave a border on, around the bottom uh, width which is about sort of let's see yeah and then new let's start about here new and we're gonna oops hold on new and then I'm gonna do that torn edge look right up there new line draw the closing line like that and let's see new line it's gonna have that torn look now it's, that's what it's gonna look like now the secret is is that I want an icon which works on the dark theme and a the light theme so I'm gonna whoops hold on I'm gonna draw another icon right around it which is gonna serve as the light theme so they're gonna be both be visible at the same time but on a dark website you won't see it and on a light website you'll see the other one like that and I should actually I should clear up that it shouldn't go all the way to the top okay where's the line Here. and continue with the gray and gray I choose gray because on a dark theme anything very white doesn't look too good and let's see I'll put the other line at the bottom in the end when you're looking on a white website you won't see the gray line you'll just see the black line and on a dark website you won't see the black line you'll see the gray line and let's see what else I need oh actually let's see actually I should connect I see okay let me redraw the black line oh, no hold on new black line I should actually have done it like this that should be black and then drawing a gray one in inside it like that right and then I actually should connect them something like that yeah okay let's save save as a PNG because we are gonna make it transparent and if okay now I previously I called it icon 16.png now currently it's in it's not transparent because there's the white stuff here so so here's the tip I'm gonna use PowerPoint to make it transparent insert picture from file here it is double click and I'm gonna use the set transparent color tool to make that white bit transparent of course you can't see it right here right click save image as and then I'm just gonna replace it yes delete that Okay, I'm going to go back to my folder, and I think it should be somewhat transparent. I can't tell. Um, this is this. Now I'm going to go back to the browser. I'm going to 
use that extension. So extensions. And of course, I already have developer mode enabled here. Load unpacked. I'm going to load that extension. And this is the folder. Of course, you're not going to see anything for some reason. But this is the folder where all those files are. Select folder. Oh, here it is. There is the extension. And let's see how, if it works. If I open a new tab. Is this what you expected? Keep changes. Well, here's that new tab. That's the icon. Let's see what, how it looks like in dark mode. Customize. Light mode. Dark mode. Okay. New tab. Yes, you see the icon. Looks good in light mode and dark mode. Of course, the, currently the website here isn't dark yet. So, let's see, let's close this. Um, let's go back to here, go back to the web page. So, the next step is to, let's open it in Notepad. We're going to add some CSS to make it dark when we're in dark mode. And to do that, we're going to add a CSS file link. Um, type no, 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 no. rel is equal to style sheet Prif is equal to and we're gonna just do it in line just to save time data text style CSS and then at media prefers color scheme Inside, we're going to put body. Uh, we're going to give it a background color of. Now, we can't use the hex notation because there's a hash in it. So, red, green, blue. Um, just something slightly dark. Oops. Let's say 30, 30, oops, 30, and 30. So, that's a, the max is a 255. It goes from 1, which is dark, to 255, which is white. So, 30 is a nice gray. Close body, close at media, and and a five. Do that. Okay, that should should be it. Close that. Save. Close. Now let's see. Let's see the new tab page. Yeah, it's a nice gray. Uh, now let's see if it works when we change it to a light mode. There, now it's white. And this new tab page, it should load instantly in the next time I open it up. Let's try. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Um, let's go back to the folder. Of course, now this is the extension. I could just zip it up and upload it to a Chrome gallery. I'm sorry, the Edge gallery to share it with others. And uh, that's it. That's how you create a new tab page that loads quickly. Of course, if I upload it, it should show up up here. Of course, I'm going to have to make a bigger icon like one of those.